Hi guys, it's Emily from Novel Novels and welcome to today's video. This is my gratitude journal, June 2023. Now, before I go into any events of the month, it's been a quiet month. Um, it's been a month where I started off the month a bit poorly. I was unwell with some sort of bug, it was horrible and I was really coughing and bleh, I was yuck. So I did a lot of, so the first bit of the month I was chilling, I had a lot of time to read. So I read, so the grateful side of that is I got to read loads, have a bit of time on the sofa and it was really, really nice that I got to sort of take the break. Unfortunately, I missed going to the um, volunteers event for Vaz Books, so that was really sad. But I was blessed, I had a lot, like Chris and the kids were really looking after me and I had my booktube waffle girls at the end of a phone when I was upset and you know I'm so grateful for the support I have but the most important thing look at this gorgeous weather that's here look at like the sun that's out and the lovely weather it's just really made my mental health so much happier um and I'm just so grateful so let's go through the sort of things that have been happening this month so first of all at the start of the month after being ill I went to close with my mum which was absolutely incredible. It was a, like a well and truly a treat when I got better. And we bought some clothes. I've, it's not, I've not got the room to show you, but I bought a lovely dress for the holiday. I bought a nice skirt. I bought a swimsuit, pajamas, summery stuff. But I thought I'd show you a couple of little extra bits I bought. So I got some new sandals, which are the right height because I've got um, my knee problem. They're the right sort of height for me. And with the Raynards, they're also covering my, they're letting my feet breathe. So that's sort of helping my Raynards. And I got this, which I'm now going to wear for the rest of the film. My sun hat. I've been told that with the Raynards, I need to protect my head because that's obviously one of the areas that we get the hottest. According to Thomas, it's a 90s hat. I love it. Chris likes it. Who really cares? But yeah, I got this and I need to be wearing it a bit more because I'm useless. I've got to wear it today which is a bit naughty of me but it's again going to protect and it's lovely so that's something it was really and it was the best thing of all was having time with my mum like it was just so lovely and it was so great I also went clothes shopping with Mia went shopping with Mia to get her stuff for her residential actually Chris I'm going to go and ask Chris to go and get something something because he's sat on the other side can you open the bookmark that's on the on my <coughs> twirly thing because I've bought a little bookmark and I've just realised I've left it on my twirly thing Where is it? on the top of my stand Hang on. he's going to go and get me that so I can show you that so we went um shopping to get the extra bits for her residential which I'll talk more about in a minute and we went to Waterstones we had a lovely time shopping but we also went to Waterstones and I got like butterflies and I got a few other books that were really really lovely and that were my treats but as Chris went and showed me this is Mia's fault I spent a bit of money on this this gorgeous bookmark thank you Chris for showing me we are stardust meant to shine so she made me get this lovely bookmark and it's so stunning but I could put this but it was on it was shortlisted for the women's prize we know it didn't win but I wanted this book because Charlie had spoken nicely about it and a few other people had liked it so that was that and I got some other books but obviously I'll show you that on my book haul but we again we went for a coffee shop I'll show you at the end of the video I'm going to be like doing that little picture montage thing that I do and show you some of the pictures of the month and I'll show you a picture of me and me and then which was absolutely lovely we had a really nice time and we've had I think at least two or three family barbecues this month which again I'll show you pictures um we normally have my mum coming. Can you hear the noisy bird? We've got a noisy bird that's making a... Oh, we've got a little robin. There's a robin on the fence that's making a racket. So something else to be grateful for. But um, it's lovely. Um, <laughs> sweet old cat's talking to the bird. <laughs> but we've had, um, I think we had two barbecues. One with mum and one without. And she always brings her lovely home cooked potato salad and rice salad. And Thomas, according to Thomas, the rice salad is the best rice salad ever. Chris does the barbecue food, he's really good at doing all that and he, it, that for me is something sweet but that to me is connected to another thing to be grateful for and I'll tell you that in a minute but yeah Chris does the barbecue, sometimes Thomas and Mia help but all I have to do is the stuff in the oven, that's it, he does everything else and he's brilliant at doing that so that's been lovely. Um, Mia has went on her residential trip, um, <laughs> a bird's so lovely. But it was her first trip um, away with all her year six, with a lot of her year six friends. 
and they went away for five days and I was an emotional mess by the end. The girls will tell you I was crying my eyes out on the last night. But she had the time of her life. It was She was so independent, so outgoing and she came back so much happier and I'm just ridiculously proud. We are ridiculously proud of her because she just did so, so well. And it was just absolutely lovely to see that confident side in her come back. She's made new friends, friends which will help her get ready for secondary school. And yeah, she was just absolutely had the time of her life. Um, right. We also had Father's Day this month. Now Father's Day is quite hard for me because obviously I don't have my dad anymore, but it's Chris's day. And this is what we do. We celebrate Chris and we celebrate the fact the fathers that are here and the fathers that aren't. And um, for me, like my sister Vicky got us all, me, Charlie, Vicky and my mum, a pack of Smarties, which was my dad's favourite sweet. So we all ate those at some point in the day, which was lovely. And Chris wanted a roast, so we did Chris a roast. He's got a lovely, I'll see if I can nab it. See if you can show you his, he got his, I'm not going to drop it. <laughs> he got this, which is Chris, AKA dad. Was it? The the man, the master, or something else. But my friend Rachel does um, personalised things like that. So the kids, the kids picked to buy him that beer glass and that is really special and they also got him um some chocolate bars from, from school which i'm probably on it eating to be honest because i know he doesn't like chocolate but yeah so we did we did celebrate father's day in his own way and chris went to his parents and had a lovely time there and they all went up to the swimming the paddling pool up there near where his parents lived so that was really nice and they had a really good time i've really enjoyed with the nice weather cooking some really light sort of summery meals and they sort of make me feel really happy and being outside i really loved being outside as much as possible go for walks in nature when it's not too hot i've been gone for around the lake around near where we live and that's been really nice and really special um, um i uploaded my new tag video uh, which is my I think it's a how do we write our books tag and that's done really well and that's really been really encouraging how many people have said lovely things about that so now i'm going to show you a couple of books that i bought I've got a book that I've been given for a really long, which, I, which you would have already seen on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram. And then I'll talk about a couple of books that I've currently reading or read and that were special. And then I'll tell you my upcoming events for June. Sorry, this is going to be a bit of a short video. So I got this at Baz Books for a pound. It's Lucy Worsley book, Lady Mary by Bloomsbury. Now this is her YA, from her YA section and I've got I think I've got all the other ones of hers in this section, but this one's about Mary Tudor actually, whose world is turned upside down when her father, Henry VIII, declares his marriage to the mother of, to her mother is over and that Mary isn't really his child. How can he do such a thing? Banished from court and alone for the first time in her life. <coughs> Mary must fight for what is rightfully hers. Despite what anyone says, she will always be a princess. It is in her blood, but without her fierce mother by her side, will Mary find the strength? Is there anyone Mary can trust and how will she survive? found this at our charity shop for a pound. How much of a big bargain is that? I've read Eliza Rose. I've got My Name is Victoria on my shelf and that is one that the lovely Gem from Gemma Books got me and I cannot wait to read that. I still need to read that. So that's got to be read before this, but it was still a good bargain. Now the next bargain you're not going to believe. Everyone is going to be shouting and screaming at me at how lucky I am. I found The Book of Dust by Philip Pullman at the charity shop near me for 20p yes guys 20p look how gorgeous this is oh my god i've got to show you the naked half about it because that is just stunning you know what i'm like with that so you've obviously got to the front which is all glittery and then look at the spine i'll read you out what it says because it's i don't know how clear it is ah it's a proper canoe said lord asriel as if he'd never been expecting a toy Maline felt a little affronted on behalf of La Belle Sauvage and said nothing as he turned to her over and over over and let her slip quietly down the grass and onto the water. That is just such a stunning thing and to get that for 20p. I know that book's had a bit of mixed reviews but it's a chunky book. It's like one of the new series of his. It's over 500 pages and I got it for 20p. And now the next one is a book that you would have seen on my Instagram. I haven't even unpacked it because I only got given it today. I'm trying to pre-film. So I'm going to have to unpack this for my um, picture that you would have already seen. But this is Queen Charlotte by Julia Quinn and... What's the other name? Julia Quinn and Shona Rhymes. 
because that little fan as well, which the fan will come in very handy. I got given this as an ad PR product by Tandem. I'm starting to read this on today, which is the Friday. And it's about, like, it's about Princess Charlotte, who is, like all members of the German aristocracy, Prince Charlotte, Sophia Charlotte of Mecklenburg Streets was in possession of a great many names. Sophia for her maternal grandmother, Sophia Albertine for, uh, but, yeah, I can't say that, a countess by birth and duchess by marriage, Charlotte for her father, Charles Louis, Frederick Mexler or whatever, who was born a second son and died before he could assume any position of head of the family. There are many and sundry double barrel lands and properties that made up her heritage. I don't want to know too much more about that, but I'm going to look at that soon. So that was given to me by an ad PR product from Tandem. So I can't wait to look, open that in a minute and look at that and read that today. Um, I just forgot one of the things, that I, the reason why I'm filming a bit later in the day, I normally film first thing in the morning, is that we just had the sports day for the kids. The sports day is happening, key stage two was this morning, key stage one was this afternoon. And both our kids were on the same sports day. They were in the same group. Um, I was properly like the proudest mum going. They were both really, really good. Thomas was definitely the show off and enjoying showing off and being so silly and fun because he's a typical little mad boy. Mia was focused and determined and having a great time. She did so, so well, but she looked shattered at the end of it. But they both did us proud. They were really, they worked together as a team in their group. Their groups were great. The school is amazing. It's such a special thing doing sports days. I still think back and think back of those ones we missed because of COVID, but now it's so, I love going to sports days. Me and Chris went and my niece Holly went as well. And it was just such a good laugh. Unfortunately, I didn't take my hat. I got a little bit burnt, but it was so much fun and we've had a great time. Um, I wanted to quickly show you the book, one of the books that's my favorite of the month. It's one I read in the first half of the month. And that's Blood Marked by Tracy Dion. I obviously would have spoken a lot about this in my wrap up part one, but so, so good. Possibly one of the favorite, is one of the favorites of the year so far. And I'm currently reading, so this is gonna stay out here. And that's The Dance Tree by Kira Mill Targreaves. And oh my God, it is so, so good. I'm already a hundred pages in and I don't want to put it down every time. So those are the two books I'll be reading this afternoon. Now, for what's happening in July. July is going to be a busy month. <laughs> this video is a very short. July's one is going to be long because I probably will be talking about the holiday in the August wrap up because we're going away at the end of July. But at the start of July, next week, me and Chris are going to Windsor for the, for the day, most of the day. We've got Thomas's flute concert. Thomas has got a recorded concert first day. And then me and Chris are going to the lovely Windsor, which is near us. It's not a very long drive. We go to the charity shops, which say my book haul for July is going to be massive. We go to the charity shops, we'll walk along the river, go to the castle, we'll have a great, great time. Have lunch right there, and it's just, it's so special. I also love having that time with me, just me and Chris. It's so, so special. Then the next week, I'm going to work in with the lovely Charlie from Charlie Brook Reads, my gorgeous sister. We're going to go charity shop shopping, and then we're going to have a lovely co coffee together, which will be nice. I love coffee, she'll have tea, probably, knowing Charlie. And then, like I said, at the end of the month, it was obviously holiday. Mia will be leaving her primary school. So there's going to be a lot of emotional, she's got loads, lots of leaving things like her leaving. She's got production. We've got transition days. We've got lots coming up, but it's going to be a busy, but great month. I don't know how much I'll read in July. I know that July is going to be insane, but it's a month that I'm so, so excited about. What things are you grateful for in June? Is there been anything that stands out to you? I'd love to hear. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, not subscribe yet. Bring on my ding-a-ling and I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.